Hi, I'm Vince, and welcome to our channel. Today's video will be about the swing arm for the van, the kitchen. But first, I just wanted to say thank you for the kindness that we have received from all the comments. So, let's get started. Today's, we're go I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the van back together. I've disassembled it, and I'm going to reassemble it, and I'm going to show you the parts that I made to support the swing arm. The swing out. We'll start from the bottom. This is just, you can tell, this is just a stack of pieces of metal. And what I did was, if you notice right here, there's a flat spot in the body. I've removed the plastic. You, I laid all three of those pieces of metal on top of each other, and then I marked it with a sharpie to show how each piece was laying on top of the other and then I took it back out, welded it together and welded this pin on it. Drilled two holes and that's how it's actually attached to the bottom. Then on the top, this is factory. These are factory holes. Uh, I wanted to use whatever was available without punching new holes into the body and weakening it. So. I made this plate first that fit that, and I originally just had this angle iron and this with the pin on it, and soon realized there was so much pressure on it that it was, and then I backed it up. I made a backing plate. You can see it goes, it, the bolts go into it, and the only way to get the backing plate, this slot is already there. This slot's already there. So the way I got that backing plate in is I had to hold it with a little piece of metal like that and then put that there it was one of those three-handed things so I'll put that on and then I'll show you the next part okay now I've reinstalled the both pins the way I showed you and this is the an added brace that I had to put that attaches it to the bed because there's so much torque on this from the weight so then there's one spacer here there's two spacers there And then it swings on in and I had I made another pin right here recycling <laughs> it's part to fireplace uh, parts and this pin I've drilled a hole right here and when you close this all the way in that pin can be pushed into that hole and that that get stabilize it and then back here it actually it actually has, I'll pull it out and you can look at it, there's a little notch. And that notch coordinates with the bed right there. Then that supports the front side of it. Then there's a ramp. We'll pull this out and look at the ramp. There's an actual ramp right here of metal that helps to ramp this thing up because it's heavy. So it ramps it up, lines everything up, so that's... We close her up, latch it, push the pin in. She's solid. Okay. These are all the pieces to the kitchen. And I'll show them, we'll put them in one at a time. I've cut pieces of wood underneath so that when you lay the shelves in, they they stabilize and stay where they're supposed to be. Just like kind of like I did the bed. I have the same thing here. I've got four four little feet on there, and when this goes in there, it only has to press down and the little four feet located to where it can't move. And then the last one is this one on the top, and I've actually made a note for the front, back, back. This one goes in here. And for the sink or the top, you just 
have to place the hose in there first. And then I've put tabs. There's, there's about five metal tabs that keep this board from actually going too far down. And, uh, oh, I've got that. It doesn't close. Yeah, it goes this way. And it goes like that. And then screws go in from underneath to help pull it, pull it down tight. So that's how the sink and the, and the swing out's put together. And then this final piece goes across here, which blocks one side of this shelf, making it, keeping anything from sliding out toward the bed. You can see how I angled this side. And the reason for that is when you come in, it just has to clear. But then when it's all the way in, you've got this huge gap right here. So I'm actually gonna build some cabinetry uh, that's gonna be different. In fact, I'm gonna show you. When I'm through showing the water and the electrical system, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this side of the van apart and my intentions are to rebuild this this one section because we, this is where our coffee maker is going to go. So I'm showing you what we had before, but I'm going to change it and I'm going to film it. So thanks again for tuning in. The next video will be the electrical, I think. Yeah, I think I'll do the electrical next. I'll show you how I did the battery. So stay tuned. Thank you.